Gyro stabilizer. Check. Servo rotors? Check. Hollow Spectre? Uh, which one is the Hollow Spectre again? Doesn't exist. Just check it if you're paying attention. Okay then, everything looks almost operational. Almost? Mechanical engineering isn't an exact science. But, if it all goes well, we should take off without a hitch. If it all goes well? Yeah, now you're getting the hang of it. Come on then, let's get the nest off the ground. Roger that. That's as close as I can get. I know. That means we'll have to walk the rest of the way. Are you ready? To set aside the apiary once and for all? I've been waiting for this moment. One day we'd be hurtling down the side of a volcano together. I don't think that I would have been surprised. I always knew you were in trouble. The rust is burning my throat. Keep it up. We're almost there. So, that's where the rust came from. Sure looks like it. I can't even imagine how hot it is in there. One splash, and we're literally toast. I wasn't expecting that severing the bridge would be easy, but I definitely didn't think we'd have to give up even before we'd reached it. Who said we were giving up? Well, you can see we have a problem. We've made it all the way here. It's certain death, Kay. We have our anti-gravity boots. That's besides the point. Even one meter above the rust, the temperature must be a thousand billion degrees. And even if we manage to avoid the drops and make it to the other side in one piece, who's to say our plan will even work? We've never cut a flow bridge before. Ah, uh, I don't even know if the gloves will really work. I thought it might be worth a shot. This is beyond trying our luck, though. We'd be risking our lives. Well, I trust you. 
If you trust me, then believe me when I say you shouldn't go for it. It's not worth it. Nothing is worth losing you. Which is precisely what's going to happen if we don't sever this bridge. Ozias is going to show up any day now. And knowing him, he'll certainly bring a platoon of hornets along. And if they don't do the job, they'll send more. How long do you think we can last? They will separate us, you. They will recalibrate us, match us with our respective mates. And there will be nothing left of us. Not even a memory. Nothing. <sighs> nothing. I don't know what's on the other side of this rust, but at least there's something. What if it's worse? Cutting the bridge, I mean. We're talking about cutting ourselves off from the rest of the world. Not metaphorically, not momentarily, definitively. For the rest of our lives. Never see another face? Hear another voice? Are you sure that's what you want? Aren't you? I don't know, Kay. Source was supposed to mean freedom. But if we remove the possibility to change our minds, if we close the door behind us, Source is just another prison. I want to be with you. To spend the rest of my life with you. I want it to be by choice. Not by circumstance. Not because we no longer have a choice in the matter. So what do you propose? We try our luck against the Hornets. You know they might end up catching us. Perhaps. But we will have lived free until the last moment. Until the last moment, then? Until the last moment. That's as close as I can get. I know. 
That means we'll have to walk the rest of the way. Are you ready? To set aside the apiary once and for all? I've been waiting for this moment. side of a volcano together. I don't think that I would have been surprised. I always knew you were in trouble. The rust is burning my throat. Keep it up. We're almost there. So, that's where the rust came from. Sure looks like it. I can't even imagine how hot it is in there. One splash, and we're literally toast. I wasn't expecting that severing the bridge would be easy, but I definitely didn't think we'd have to give up even before we'd reached it. Who said we were giving up? Well, you can see we have a problem. We've made it all the way here. Do you see the size of that bridge? I know we talked about it, but Plute K, this thing is gigantic. At what point did we convince ourselves that we could sever this? You said the gloves would get it done. But what do I know? I've never severed a flow bridge. I thought it might be worth trying. Not worth hovering over a lake of molten rust. Even one meter above the rust, the temperature must be a thousand billion degrees. We are beyond trying our luck. We would be risking our lives. We've risked our lives from the get-go. No. I'm sorry, this is different. Critters hopped on rust, hornet drones, those things I can punch. If I punch this, I'm gonna lose my arm. And that would be the least of my worries, too. I could lose you as well. Which is precisely what's going to happen if we don't sever this bridge. Ozius is going to show up any day now. And knowing him, he'll certainly bring a platoon of hornets along. And if they don't do the job, they'll send more. How long do you think we can last? They will separate us, you. They will recalibrate us, match us with our respective mates. And there will be nothing left of us. Not even a memory. Nothing! Nothing. I don't know what's on the other side of this rust, but at least there's something. Okay, but on one condition. You have to promise me that everything will work out. We're gonna cross this lake of rust, sever this bridge, and come back alive. Or else it isn't worth the risk. Or else I, I would rather forget. No chivalrous sacrifice. No bleeding heroic act. We're going. We're severing the bridge, and we're going home. Okay? Okay. Promise? Promise.
no, 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 no. We said no gluten heroic acts. Ugh. Sorry. But I promise nothing. Ow! Oh, it burns. Sorry. Sorry. It's no big deal. I'll be all right. Just avoid any contact with it. I'm sorry. I should have never insisted. Don't be ridiculous, Kay. Look, we made it. We passed through. Ugh. Now we just need to sever this Bluton bridge. No, don't move. I told you, it'll be all right. It hurts the same whether I'm moving or not. Come on, let's get this over with. We won't be able to absorb all of this at once. Then we'll do one bit at a time. Over there, the flow threads seem more sparse. It's the moment of truth. Switching to hyper rest mode. It worked! I hope it'll last. There's still a bunch of threads left to deflect. should take a break. I think I can manage on my own. Don't even think about it. The bridge is waning. As it should. are starting to overheat. My fingers are starting to burn. Now about half of my body is burning. It's over. No going back. No more apiary. No more space travel. Nothing. So what are we waiting for? Damage. <laughs> it's for you. 
If only you knew how long I've been waiting for this. This is gonna be so good. <laughs> yeah, if it even works. What's that thing you say? Uh, let's not start pushing before the panties are pulled down? Of course it's gonna work. With all of your talent and mine put together, how could it fail? Stop it. You're gonna be bad luck. Wanna bet a creamberry fondue that it's gonna work? So, either way, we're having fondue tonight? Correct. Works for me. What now? Now we draw. It works. It works. <laughs> Creamberry fondue forever. <laughs> we can swing by the vegetable patch when we're done playing around. I saw a few nice ones yesterday that looked almost right. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. I added a burst function to the boots. Does that mean we can... Pop flower burst? Yep. Whoa! It's even better than I imagined! This way. A little bit more over there. Think I'm itching for a flower burst. You go right ahead. This isn't the sharpest drawing. Well, let's just say it's abstract art.
Lest we forget, you had promised me you'd make a cranberry fondue. That's true. I should get to it. starting to come together. Not sure that will be enough for a fondue. Oh, did we miss some? Who would have thought we were actually artists? I wonder why we're bothering to plant a bit of everything, when we could just focus on intensive cranberry cultivation. We'd need a little variety in our diet, lest we get tired. All right. Are we gonna have this fondue? Yes. Great. I was wondering. The weather's kinda nice. Do you wanna set up outside for a change? Definitely. Start the fondue, I'll set the table. Whew. I didn't think we'd get through all that. What's for dessert? You have some room left? I'm kidding. We do have some apple brew left. Want any? All right, then. We are on vacation, after all. Every day is vacation. Exactly. To us. And to source. Which reminds me, we're gonna have to tape up the nest's flow intake tomorrow. I think I saw a leak. Yes. And also, we need to consider pruning our apple dew buds. They're gonna take over the whole vegetable patch if we let them. Blute. Guess we're not on vacation after all. Ah, uh, well. We can rest when we're old. Okay. The only things we do here are cooking, handiwork, and gardening. We are old. You're right. Speaking of which, it's past our bedtime. What are we still doing up? Wait. We haven't checked the gauges. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. So, what does it say? 0 0.174 minus 0 0.090 plus 0 0.122. Huh. It's more than yesterday. A lot more? Not much, but it kind of confirms our theory. Source's orbit has deviated. Hmm. Other than that... I'm not seeing the bridge. Looks like it's not forming back. At least that's some good news. Now we can sleep soundly. Are you sleepy at all? Not really. Don't you want to go into the bedroom instead? Yes. Let's go. Quick. Someone's thinking about the apiary. Huh? <sighs> no. Well, kind of. But kind of not. I was thinking about us. What we've done. We've severed a balloon flow bridge. Yeah. About that. It's like the biggest decision I've ever made in my life. By a very long stretch. I thought I would feel changed. Like an entirely new person. But no. I'm not feeling any different. Mentally. I mean, I don't think I've taken it all in yet. You know, it's kind of like when someone you don't see much dies. You understand it, you accept it, but really, concretely, it changes absolutely nothing in your daily life. The only difference compared to before is that you wouldn't be able to see that person if you wanted to. And you really don't remember they're dead until you want to see them. Right now, 
It feels like the entire apiary is dead. Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't be able to go back. Does that make you sad? It doesn't make me anything. Sad, happy, nothing. You know, I don't think it's hit me yet. I'd like it to stay that way, actually. I really hope it never hits me. Um, will you tell me if that happens? <sighs> Who else could I tell? What about your skin? Does it still hurt? No. I can barely feel it anymore. I don't know if it's the lufocrit oil, or if my immune system has just accepted it. But at least it stopped stinging. It feels better. It feels... okay. Still haven't noticed any superpowers? Remotely controlling the rust, making flow appear out of your hands? <laughs> no. I'm just super ugly. Oh yeah? I personally like your new look. You have this robo-glam attitude with the spikes and everything. Oh, please. I'm serious. I think I like you better this way. Stop it. You can't be serious. But it's nice of you to say. And since you're not put off doing what you did to me earlier, then no worries. I am happy. <laughs> Wherever, whenever. Here and now. Hmm. Just what I wanted to hear. <laughs>